My name is Evangelos Papadopoulos and I'm one of the two faculty members of the Control Systems Lab established in 1980. I'm a graduate of this school and I joined it again in 1996, coming from McGill University in Canada and MIT in the US. Our research interests include robotics, theoretical and applied control systems, mechatronics and biomechatronics. In more detail, we are interested in space, air, underwater and legged robots that move in difficult environments, focusing on their design, on planning and control, and on perception of their self and their environment. We also work in the areas of prosthetics and haptics. We study identification methods for obtaining system parameters needed for advanced control algorithms, and we design control systems for electromechanical and electrohydraulic systems, focusing on robustness and on addressing uncertainty. We design, build and test complex mechatronic systems, exploiting the latest microcontroller, sensor and actuator technologies with special interest in biomechatronic devices, that is devices for, for patients. Our systems are controlled in real time, employing real-time operating systems or ROS and benefit from AI techniques such as deep reinforcement learning. The lab is vertically oriented, meaning that we can design and build most of the robotic and mechatronic systems we study. The people associated with our lab include postdoctoral fellows, PhD candidates, MS and diploma students, as well as undergraduate students for learning the trade. Their background is mechanical and electrical engineering and computer science. Obviously, most come from NTUA, but also from the National and Capodistria University of Athens and the University of Patras. In total, more than 30 people work at our premises. For our work, we obtained funding from the European Union via the Horizon Programme, the European Space Agency and national sources such as LIDEC and ESPA. We cooperate with a large number of European and Greek universities and companies, including some of the largest companies in the aerospace field and research institutes. Our students, uh, researchers and myself are very excited to be able to work in this lab and develop theories and technologies which uh, address future needs and, and current needs. And we hope that uh, in the future we'll see many of you who are seeing this video stopping by our lab or visiting us or participating in its activities.